Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty. It is March the 9th, the day before my birthday. This is not a Trump hat. I don't care what Chauncey Gardner says. It says, making America great since 1941. It's a Kreider hat. It's not a Trump hat. Sorry about that. It might be a pun on his words, but my kids gave me this hat because they thought that was pretty cool because dad's been running radio stations, building towers all over the United States and doing all kinds of stuff. So he's doing his little, little teeny tiny piece to help America become great and continue to be great. So that's what the hat's all about. Old Chauncey Gardner, he's all upset about this. He says, well, I don't care what you say. It's a Trump hat. Well, you can call it a Trump hat. I call it a Ron Kreider hat because it's my hat. Hey, about the weather forecast tonight. Some clouds low of about 60 two degrees tonight tomorrow about 74 degrees that's going to be the high tomorrow there isn't any rain in our forecast and then tomorrow night a low of about 73 degrees other than that everything well scratch that a low of about 63 degrees it's going to be really good weather just terrific weather here in the state of florida i don't have a whole lot to give you today i can tell you this the numbers are not good you know this happens every time here we are tuesday wednesday the numbers go straight through the roof and then as we get to the weekends they go down i'm not saying they're being managed but i can tell you this this seems to be a pattern going on here so they're not really good i don't like to uh, i'm not making light of the fact that they're pretty high in fact our our deaths are up to like 162 today that was really bad because we finally got out of the hundreds and now we're going back up again but nonetheless i have a little news clip that I'm going to give you here. And this is going to tell you a little bit about what we can expect now that we have the vaccinations and what we, what we can begin to do with each other, with the people who have been vaccinated. So we'll pop right into that. I try to make this little beginning piece like maybe no more than two minutes. A video is usually no more than two or three minutes, and then I'm going to pop right into the numbers. So here we go. Quick like a buddy, we'll be into the little special video for you, and then the numbers. So hang on, and I'll be back in a flash. Don't forget to push the like button. More shots are going into arms across the U.S. faster than ever before. Close to 10% of the population is now fully vaccinated. It's enough for the country's top public health leaders to loosen recommended restrictions. Today, I think we've, we've begun to describe what a world looks like where we move beyond COVID-19. The new guidelines say fully vaccinated people can visit other fully vaccinated people for small indoor gatherings in private settings like a home. No masks, no physical distancing required. I'm most looking forward to seeing family that I haven't really been able to see. Fully vaccinated people can also visit with unvaccinated people from one household, as long as no members of that household are at high risk for serious illness. No masks, no physical distancing required either. Here's an example. If grandparents have been vaccinated, they can visit their daughter and her family, even if they have not been vaccinated, so long as the daughter and her family are not at risk for severe disease. I'm looking forward to visiting my grandkids. Now we can play games and run around in the backyard. Large gatherings are still discouraged and fully vaccinated people are being urged to keep wearing a mask in public and practice physical distancing. But in Canada, there is no specific guidance yet, and it's unclear if and when recommendations will be adjusted. The Public Health Agency of Canada says there is still limited evidence on whether someone who received a COVID-19 vaccine is still able to transmit the virus. U.S. officials warned the guidance could change depending on what the science says. On average, there are still 57,000 new COVID cases a day here. And while that's dramatically lower than January's peak, experts warn of another possible surge if people aren't careful. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Washington. Hi, everyone. Ron Kreider here in the numbers department today for the 9th of March. And the numbers are not looking good. Sorry about this. 162 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours. That's 79 more than yesterday. Yesterday, we had 83. As far as positives, 4,426 for the entire state of Florida. Yesterday, we had 3,312. That's 1,100. 
and 14 more than yesterday. We go across here, we take a look at the number of vaccinations in the past 24 hours, 122,410. Total number of vaccinations since we started vaccinating here in Florida. And this is total number of first doses, 5,606,473. Now, what does that tell us? That tells us about 13% of the entire uh, population has received at least one dose. Now, most of those doses went into older people. So most of the older people have been vaccinated, at least the people up in the 70s and 80s and so forth and so on. Our positivity rate for the entire state of Florida yesterday was 5.84. Today it's 5.87. That actually should be a red number. Sorry about that. Got a green in there that shouldn't have been there. All righty, let's go down and take a look at Miami-Dade. 52 new deaths reported in the past 24 hours, 1,093 new positives, new vaccinations in the Miami-Dade area, 10,999, and they the first dose now, first dose that everybody has received, the percent of that is 7.99. In Broward County, Broward County, seven new deaths to report, 549 new positives, 7,162 new vaccinations in Broward County in the Fort Lauderdale area. In Palm Beach County, one new death to report, 258 new positives, 6,015 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. In Orange County, up in Mousetown, two new deaths to report, 245 new positives, 2,826 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. In Brevard County, Melbourne on the Space Coast, five new deaths to report, 111 new positives, 2,645 new vaccinations up there in the Melbourne area. St. Lucie County, Fort Pierce, one new death to report, 70 new positives, 665 new vaccinations. Martin County, Martin County is Stewart, no new deaths to report, 15 new positives, 357 new vaccinations, not very many vaccinations there. And then we take a look at Indian River County, that's Vero Beach, no new deaths to report, 55 new positives, and it did 861 new vaccinations in the past 24 hours. Now we're going to go down here and take a look at what we call the zip codes. We don't call them that. That's what they are. The zip codes for Indian River County. And these are all positives in the past 24 hours. So it would be zip code 32948 was 2. Zip code 329583, zip code 32960, Vero Beach Proper 7, zip code 329612, zip code 329613, zip code 329665, zip code 32967 is 7, and zip code 32968 is 4. Seven day moving averages for the number of deaths in the entire state of Florida for the past seven days. 113.14. Yesterday, it was 109.86. So once again, red on the screen. And here we go, taking a look at these horrible numbers over here. These are the, this is what we refer to as the global view. 29,052,064, the number of people who contracted COVID-19 here in the United States since we started. Number of deaths in the United States since we started. 524,907. You can always tell when somebody comes through my door because the bell rings. Sorry about that. Global cases, 117,360,000. Those are the number of cases of people who have contracted COVID-19 since we began. And then the global number of deaths worldwide, 2,605,194. And those are the numbers for today, for March the 9th. Not good, are they? Not very good at all. Sorry about that, but the least I can do with what I got to report on today. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to push the like button. Got a lot of complaints lately about my hat I wore the other day. In fact, I got wore it again today, and the hat is not a Trump hat. It's a Kreider hat. Making America great since 1941. Yeah, that was me. I mean, I was one of the little teeny tiny contributors, you know, in the Marine Corps and all the things that I was able to do to help make America great. It had nothing to do with President Trump whatsoever. Sorry about that. You know, you could say, well, yeah, it's a pun on Trump. Not necessarily so, but it sounds good. Anyway, I hope you have a really great day. I look forward to seeing you back here on Wednesday, March the 10th, my birthday. Turned 80 years old. Pretty happy about that. Yep, it's a good day. It'll be a good day. See you then. Ron Kreider signing off for today.